you know, the, this one suffers again from what Disney uh, suffers from. They don't know how to. Uh, the the whole point of episode one should be to get you excited about seeing episode two. Uh, this one just didn't do it. Uh, it was it was just set up. Who is Sauron? How bad? Why is he so bad? Uh, what's the sad sack story that he has? I mean, he's a prisoner throughout half of the or throughout most of the episode. He's beaten pretty badly. Uh, when he finally is let go, he is you know he's got wounds all over the place. Um, which leads us to the beginning of season one where he's on the ship and meets up with uh, Galadriel, uh, you know, like a needle in a haystack in the, out in the ocean. But uh, they, it does, I can't imagine anyone who doesn't know anything about this series to watch that first episode and say, hey, I want to stick around for the second one. Uh, it just doesn't happen. Well, there's really not much to say. I mean, it's, uh, I actually think even, you know what, like mm -hmm. people were interested about uh, with the acolyte the acolyte had a lot of interest in that show being in terms of reviews talking about it i think talking about rings of power season two i don't know if people will yeah. even care to watch the bad reviews will they no, because unlike the acolyte the acolyte gave us something to chew on right i mean it was so bad it was good right it, 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 we ate off the acolyte for two months <laughs> that's not going to happen with rings of power man yeah i mean here's the thing uh with the acolyte you know i i said it in my tweets when i first saw it you know the the first two episodes you're just gonna think are bad uh but it was that third episode of the acolyte that fundamentally changed this series and made it uh, the worst thing ever. The, the yes, Lord yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, just the Lord Killer. Yeah, I mean, the act like gave us so much. Yeah, I don't think this is going to do it. I will say the uh, the at the end of the second episode, there's the hey, uh, the scenes from uh, future episodes. Uh, they they were smart and brought in all the action sequences. And put it to music. Um, the so the uh, preview of the upcoming uh, season uh, looks good, but I feel like there's a lot we're gonna have to endure to get to it. It's you know what this feels like. This feels like a funeral. It feels sad. Well, like, dude, I mean, I, I don't know how much they spent on this show, man. But I, I I gotta be honest, I'm a little surprised they even got a season two. How how did this happen? I feel like they were contractually obligated, uh, yeah, but but in terms of funeral, it's you know it's like a funeral of someone you don't know. I mean, I'm not I'm not a fan of the lore. I, I you know, I read The Hobbit in in elementary school. Uh, that's as much Tolkien as I've read. Yeah, I've I never read Lord of the Rings at all. So I'm 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 a I, I'm a casual at best when it comes to Lord of the Rings. I so I was looking at that show at at you know, what we watched from the eyes of somebody who doesn't know the lore, who is just a, a, a new viewer. And it was terrible, man. Mm. Yeah. But in terms of, uh, you know, is it a funeral? It's like, I never cared about the person in the first place. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I'm just not, I, I just feel like if we keep, if we do this week after week, I, you know, I'm going to be stretching to find something that's, something different to say about it. Well, I'll see it for myself and then yeah. we can go from there. But um, it sounds like what I'm saying is these sort of um, streams talking about the show, I think are not even going to be, people are not even, it's, it's what I'm saying is apathy is setting in. Mm -hmm. It's apathy. What you saw tonight, the lightly attended special screenings, those should be packed. Free movie. Yeah. You know, the free, like show up. Why isn't that packed? Well, here's the problem, man. It, it's not it's not bad enough to where we could just make fun of it every week. Yeah. That's the problem. It's 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 decent enough that it's just boring. Well, like Madam Webb, we even talked about Madam Webb was fun in its terribleness. Yeah, yeah it was it a good was time. Better, it was fun. Yeah, but we um, talked about it for a week and then never talked about it again. That that's what'll happen here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's surprising. Like, if Gary's screening had 35 people in it, it just shows you, again, season one, packed. The theater was packed. Your theater, my theater was packed. Uh, and this one, you know, half full. It, it just shows you that people are not excited about this series. And look, by the way, I love Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. The music, the oh, yeah. story, the like, I, I, I'm like, a, I'm a normie when it comes to Lord of the Rings. Loved those movies. Every movie was an event. It was yeah. an event. And those three movies, three years in a row, holy, I mean, yeah, it was insane. It yeah, well, my daughter and I, my daughter and I did the Fathom event thing uh, over the weekend. The, you know, Friday, Saturdays, Friday, Sunday, Monday, we saw all three movies, the extended cuts. She had only seen Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, and she, I mean, it is her favorite series, hands down. You know, better than Harry Potter. I, I like uh, Dante's new thirst trap. He <laughs> turns the camera off in a tank top. <laughs> that's that's great. I love it, Dante. That's awesome. I no, but I think it's apathy. Like we yeah, could it literally. Is. And also, where does the Lord of the Rings franchise go from here? I saw that trailer for the. Um, uh, the, that animated, the film, yeah, yeah, and it just like I, I don't know. I think it's can you make a franchise? No, modern? because Peter Jackson gave us the perfect movies. Like yeah. you can't do it anymore. You can't do it again, man. You you can't go back to it. And like, he's barely, you know, yeah, they they're barely involved. I mean, Peter Jackson's an executive producer, and then Philippa Boyan, she's story. You know, she she's not even she didn't even write the thing. She wrote the story for it. Um, and then also, you know, we talked about this with Furiosa. Uh, is how how are we getting tired of female protagonists when it comes to our action movies? Uh, do female protagonists excite us more than the way a, a male protagonist would? And and I I think the box office is telling us no. We want when it comes to action. We want that male protagonist. The one good thing I'll say about this, about these two episodes is that Galandria at at least seemed like she got humbled, right? Like she wasn't, she wasn't in control. She wasn't, you know, girl boss. She was just, you know, she got smacked around. Yeah. Literally. I mean, figuratively. (laughs) I think the benefit of this is that it's not lore breaking because no one cares to, to watch it. Because uh, you know that they can't use elements of Lord of the Rings in this series. Um, so you know it's only half a series. You know that is fanfic for, for Amazon. Um, if anything, I think Road to Rahirim or whatever the name of that movie is, is going gonna, is gonna to do more damage than this will. Huh. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, I think you can conf- we can confidently say this is the last time we'll cover the Rings of Power. Yeah, probably. I mean, unless something amazing happens. <laughs> wait, wait. I just noticed. Isn't it the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power? I believe it is, yes. Oh, my God. Let me. I'm yeah, gonna, the, the title is already long enough. You want to make it longer? No, I want accuracy. No, it is. It is. It's the Lord it, of the Rings, it, Rings of Power. I just, guys, we've had discussions about this. <laughs> I know we're losing. I'm gonna we're losing viewers now. because of this. Hey, it matters. Our credibility is at stake. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> what do you mean? Here, you, I fixed it. You are you are far it. from jet lag. By the way, you are. Oh, oh, oh! I do have a serious question. Serious question. Yeah. Okay. How? was the diversity oh uh, it was all white not, not much i mean other than the the, the black uh, dwarf there yeah, really Disa. wasn't a whole lot i mean yeah it was just disa i'm trying to think was there more <sighs> no it was yeah, just no, the black just dwarf disa. oh and the, and the lesbians okay there were lesbians well no the, you know uh what's her name poppy the lesbian midgets poppy and the other girl but they weren't making out at all. I think they do a 
Oh yeah, there's there's a head head bump there's a head butt. in the uh in the uh coming soon section. Let's do it right now, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All right. There you go. There you go. Right. It's modern film right now. There. Now you guys are a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Just the tip. Yeah. Wait, I think you and Dante should headbutt right now. Yeah. <laughs> Which way do I go? Is it this way? No, the other way. The other way. It's this way, right? Yeah, no, the other way. It's counterintuitive. Right. Wait, the am I other this way? way? Yeah, do it. Go. Do it. No, it can't be this further, way. Further. Yeah, it is that way. Look at the screen. I'm going the opposite way. No, yeah. that's right. See, it looks good. Yeah. It works. Diversity and head bumps. Um, wow, this is really disheartening. But Again, man, the, the, the problem with this show is that it's just boring, man. It's not even bad enough to be good. It's just boring. Well, it's not bad enough to be good, bad. Like, Madam Web. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Entertained by Madam it's not like Madam Web. It's not like the Acolyte, man, where you can eat off this. You can't. It, it's just too boring. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least Madam Web had two great things, and that was Sidney Sweeney. <laughs> Look. You're not you're not going to get a power of one situation in this show, but you are going to get it in. Um, holy shit! Yeah. Um, and it wasn't even good enough to be. It wasn't bad enough to be awful, like good bad, like Madam Web. Yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. It's just boring. That's it. it, it it's it's not it's, it's it's not even that bad. It's just boring. Boring and bland. I mean, that's the worst. These are the worst films to review, TV shows to review. The ones that you just aren't strongly, uh, you don't strongly hate and uh, or you strongly like. It's just in the middle. Well, there is this tease for the season, what we're about to see on the rest of the season of season two of Rings. Galatria. <laughs> Well, that that about sums it up. 